allowed one bite each. <laughs> no, I need to take pictures. I'm like, <laughs> only eat one yogi because I need the rest for a photo. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Jasmine and Chris. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is a fun one and it's actually coming to you inspired by our personal lives. So we have been on a pasta kick lately and we figured why not bring it to YouTube? So we're making pasta today. We have delicious pasta recipes coming at you. And I think this is going to be one of my favorite videos we've ever filmed. Pasta is the best. After rice though. Sorry, mm. rice is life. We That's all know fair. that. We talked about that on the channel. Rice. Channel-ness. Pasta potatoes. Ooh, RPP. RPP. SSVRPP. <laughs> <laughs> Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Please keep watching. <laughs> Um, yeah, we have a lot of fun pasta recipes coming at you today and as usual all of the recipes will be linked down below and any other relevant links will be placed there as well and we hope you enjoy these recipes and this video. Before we continue with this video we wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor today which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. It's a great place to explore new skills, deepen your existing passions, or get lost in your creativity. The good thing about Skillshare is it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are never any ads, and they're always adding new premium courses as well. Jonathan Van Ness, or JVN, if you know who he is, you probably love him like I do. He came out with a course on Skillshare about self-care, and I'm currently watching this right now. I love it, and I would definitely recommend you check it out. So if you want to check out Skillshare, we have a link in our description now, and the first thousand of you will get a free premium membership, so make sure you don't pass on that offer, and let's get back into the video. So the first recipe we're making today is an herbed garlic pasta, and this recipe is inspired by Chris's mom. She taught us how to make this when she was here. I added a few other things just based on my taste preference. This is inspired by spaghetti aglio e olio, if I'm saying that correctly. I don't know if it technically is um, because of all the additions, so just to be safe, I'm not gonna call it that, but you guys can let me know in the comments down below. It is super easy to make. It's basically a spaghetti with an olive oil sauce with herbs and garlic. It's lots super garlic. easy, lots of garlic. Super easy to make, super flavorful, and very satisfying. So let's get started. So first up, I generously salted a pot of boiling water, and I'm going to cook my spaghetti in here. While that's cooking, I'm going to prep my sauce. So I have some olive oil here, along with some fresh garlic and red pepper flakes. We're going to allow that mixture to come to a low simmer and cook that for about five minutes or until the garlic becomes golden. Then I'm adding in my herbs. So I have some basil, oregano, and parsley and I'm going to add my cooked pasta to that along with some of that pasta water. Lastly, I'm adding in some vegan Parmesan cheese and I'm going to mix this together until it is nice and uniform. The last thing to do is give this a taste and season it with salt and pepper as desired and then dig in. All right. Here we go. Let's eat. I'm so ready for this. Also, Jasmine was trying to instruct me on how to roll spaghetti, as if I didn't learn that when I was two years old. They're really fresh tasting, especially with all the fresh herbs. Yeah. Mm. Actually, the um, oregano's from our garden. We aren't growing basil just yet, and we were growing parsley, but I used it all up. Oh, this is so good. I love it. I'll tell you one thing. We're gonna have so much pasta after we're done with this video. I may just take a nuts. bath in it. Eat more, we have a whole pot. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Love it. 10 out of 10 for me. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get on to the next recipe. The next recipe we're making today is our roasted pesto gnocchi. And this is a favorite in our house for one. It is so easy to make and it's packed with flavor. And also, I just love the texture of the gnocchi. It's like chewy like mochi and it's one of my favorite textures. So if you're into that, you're going to love this recipe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prep a homemade pesto. You can pick up a vegan pesto at the store if you have access to one, but we thought we would just show you how to make our pesto. We were gonna make it anyways for this, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do for our pesto is add in some fresh basil. Next I have some pine nuts. If you don't wanna use pine nuts, you can also use sunflower seeds or slivered almonds. For using nutritional yeast, you can also use vegan Parmesan in its place as well. Some fresh garlic and then some fresh lemon juice. We're going to process that all together. You may need to scrape down the sides as needed. Next up we're going to slowly drizzle in some olive oil. Next we're just going to season it with some salt to taste. 
And that's it. So I have some pre-packaged gnocchi here, and from my experience, this is typically vegan in the grocery store, so I'm gonna add that to a baking sheet. Then I also have some bell pepper, some tomatoes, some zucchini. This is actually from my friend's garden, so it's super fresh. And then some mushrooms. So I'm just gonna like give that a little spread real quick. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna drizzle over some olive oil, and then I'm just gonna give it a little quick pinch of salt as well. And we're just going to mix this all together until everything is nice and coated with that oil. Now I'm just gonna evenly distribute everything until it's a single layer on the baking sheet, or I guess as single of a layer. Does that make sense? <laughs> as possible. Does that make sense, babe? As single of a layer? As much as of a single s layer. Uh -huh. As single layer. Uh-huh. As much of a single layer as possible. We're gonna mix it halfway through anyways, so that'll make sure everything cooks properly. All right, now I'm just going to pop this into my oven and roast it until everything is cooked through. All right, everything is roasted. I'm going to transfer everything to a large bowl. And then we're just going to add our pesto and mix that through. <laughs> this test. It's been chaos filming this, but we did it. So. We're allowed one bite each. <laughs> no, I need to take pictures. I'm like, <laughs> only eat one yogi because I need the rest for photos. <laughs> He's like, all right, mm. we're only allowed one. so <laughs> <laughs> Better make it good. <laughs> it's a two-biter. <laughs> I need to get a little more in here. <laughs> I got one bite, I gotta get a little of everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good enough. Really? Kind of a waste, but. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. That's perfect. It's like the perfect chewy texture. I love mm. that texture. No, uh <laughs> <laughs> I want more. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Well, we're gonna take pictures and eat this for dinner, but it's so good. We talked Fantastic. It with some vegan parm from Violife. That's our favorite vegan parm. It is so good. Maybe a little too much parm, but. Yeah, we put a lot because we redid that shot like four times. So <laughs> there's a lot of parm in here. Um, if you wanna add some spice to it, you can add some red pepper flakes. <laughs> you can change up the seasonings, add other seasonings, take out the pesto, you can add some red sauce, you can add different vegetables. There's so many different things you can do with this recipe. I think it's safe to say that the possibilities are endless. Also, this is gluten free, so. <laughs> oh, it is? <laughs> yeah, but it's potato. Gnocchi? No, gnocchi has flour, babe. Never mind. Just cut that. <laughs> not gluten. It's free. just it's just a potato. <laughs> like this is not gluten. -free. We actually we literally hold on. made gnocchi. No, hold on. Is this gluten free? Where did you get it? This is chaos. Nope. Oh, Never mind. It has gluten. Mm-hmm. I think the Trader Joe's one is gluten free. Just kidding. I want to get that one. Um, you can roast the cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's as well. Um. So let's get on to the next recipe. The last recipe we're making today is a vegan pasta primavera. And I actually also made this recipe with the guidance of Chris's lovely mom, Julie. We also forgot to mention earlier in the video that we did a video with her, I think it was a month ago now, where we showed you how to make fresh vegan egg pasta. It was a lot of fun and it was so good, honestly some of the best, or actually the best pasta I've ever had. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put it in the cards and I'll link it down below. Based on our research when we were putting together this recipe, we learned that Pasta Primavera was actually created at a New York City French restaurant in the 1970s. And it was actually a dish that wasn't on the official menu, but it was made famous through a New York Times article. So. If you didn't know that, that is how Pasta Primavera came to be. So today we're gonna to show you how we like to prep our vegan Pasta Primavera with our own twist on it. It is so good. All of the recipes in this video, I feel like I've been saying that, but honestly, this recipe is so good, so comforting. It's rich, satisfying, creamy, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So for our cream sauce, we are making a cashew-based sauce today, and it requires three ingredients. So first up, we have some raw cashews that we soaked overnight. Also, I cut my hand, so I have a band-aid on it. So you're gonna see that in the video today. I don't really know how I cut it, it just started bleeding, it was very weird. Anyways, then we have some water, and then lastly, some nutritional yeast. And all you gotta do is blend that until smooth. Our sauce is done, and we're just going to set this aside and prep our veggies. 
First up, I'm gonna add some vegan butter to our pan and allow that to melt. Next, I'm gonna add in some shallots. Then we're gonna add in some fresh garlic and a pinch of red pepper flakes. You can add as little or as much as you'd like. And we're gonna cook that up just for a few minutes more until it becomes nice and fragrant. I'm gonna add some more vegan butter. I'm gonna let that melt through as well. Then I'm gonna add in some asparagus and some broccoli. And we're going to saute that until they get nice and bright green. I'm gonna add in some peas, tomatoes, and the cashew mixture. And we're going to mix that all through. We're gonna add our cooked spaghetti. Just like earlier, a splash of pasta water, some vegan Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to work all that together. And we are going to finish it off with some fresh lemon juice and some fresh basil. Man. Oh, <laughs> Close the cabinet. And last but not least, we're going to season it with some salt and pepper to taste. I like a lot of pepper. I don't know if that's the best ASMR noise, but it is what it is, macaroni in a pot. That's a whack. I've been waiting so long for this. Video. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I just took photos of it. Oh my God. Mm. I mean, obviously we've had this recipe before because we made it last year, but it's still every time. It doesn't get old. Every time we, oh my gosh. Shoot. I feel like we made this more than just last year. What do you mean? Like, no, like that's we, when we came out with the recipe. Oh, right. But we've like just, made this mm -hmm. multiple times. Oh my God. Mm. If you want to change up the veggies, you totally can. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you can put any veggies you want in here. We should add spinach next time. That sounds delish. Love it. I can't even explain how delicious this is. It's like perfectly creamy. It's fresh. I feel like I was saying this was all of that, but it tastes fresh. The pasta, I mean the pasta, the veggies still have a little bite to them. They're not soggy. You don't want them to get soggy because it adds good texture to the pasta. I feel like peas are underrated too. Yeah. Love peas. And after making all this pasta and just like, like we were saying, we've been making so much pasta lately. I love basil. Oh. Like we don't eat enough basil. I don't even have anything to say. I just want to eat doing? this. I'm done. One second. We're going to finish eating this. Great video today. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out here on YouTube and consider subscribing down below. We post videos every single week, including recipes, lifestyle content, videos of me eating foods that are too spicy for me. Taste tests. Chris's dad jokes. Dogs, dad jokes, very dogs. cute dogs. We've got a little bit of everything going on here. <laughs> so yeah, we'd love to have you here more often if you are new. And if you enjoyed any of these recipes today, they are all linked down below. Also let us know your favorite one from today too. So. I think that is all from us today. We are going to go stuff ourselves with some more pasta and we will see you next week for another video. Peace. Bye.